Welcome back to the Dragon Den, all my loyal Dragonites, I'm King of Dragons 5000, and today we have another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Luke Skywalker. But before we have a look at the figure, let's have a look at today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by the good folks of the Jewel Gallery of El Paso. With Mother's Day just around the corner, why not pick up your mom a gift that's just as unique as she is? Jewel Gallery has beautiful lacquer dip 24 karat gold roses which will last a lifetime just like a mother's love. If you're in the market for rings, pendants, earrings and necklace, check out the Jewel Gallery where it's all about the ring. Here we have Jedi Master Luke Skywalker out of the packaging. Now before we have a look at his details, let's run through his accessories. Luke Skywalker only comes with his emerald lightsaber as well as his cloak. Unfortunately, very light on accessories, but with that out of the way, let's have a closer look at Luke Skywalker. Taking a better look at Luke Skywalker, I have to say I'm really impressed by this figure. I originally thought this was going to be a reissue of that Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker we had a look at a few years back, but no, this is actually a brand new figure. The face sculpt is alright, it's not 100% likeness to Mark Hamill, but at the same time in The Mandalorian it was a digital render. It kind of looks like Luke Skywalker from some angle, so I guess that's okay, but I do feel like the detailing on his hair is missing. On that previous Walmart figure, the hair was slightly painted. On this one, it's just a blob of plastic. Overall, just a decent job on Luke's face. Nothing too impressive, but it could be much worse. Unfortunately, as many people have pointed out, this Luke Skywalker is not accurate to the Mandalorian appearance. Where Luke Skywalker had more traditional Jedi robes in The Mandalorian, this Luke Skywalker does resemble his appearance in Return of the Jedi. He does have that same collar piece and the tunic is very accurate to Return of the Jedi, so I guess it works for that figure. The tunic is well detailed and I do like the texturing that they put into it and it has a lot of nice wrinkles on the front and on the back. Luke is wearing a black tunic, which you can see his sleeves are done very nicely, the wrinkles on them are done perfectly. His sleeves go all the way down to his wrist where we do have some wrist cuffs which are sculpted nicely and then we do have his bare hand on his left hand and his gloved hand on his right hand. Accurate to the Mandalorian, Luke Skywalker is wearing his Return of the Jedi belt. The belt has the silver belt buckle which looks nice as well as a clip to hold his lightsaber. And around his waist that Jedi tunic continues which that is accurate to the Mandalorian. Then taking a look at his pants, Hasbro actually did a really good job with Luke's pants. They're done in that same black plastic, but they do have some really nice seam work on them. Finally, we do have a look at Luke Skywalker's boots, and these boots are very well done. Though not glossy like we saw in the TV show, these boots have a lot of nice texturing on them. The texture is well done, and towards the ankle we do see some wrinkling on his boots. And his feet continue that really nice texturing as well, and he does have some black heeled soles. Though he's not 100% accurate to the Mandalorian, I still like the figure that Hasbro gave us. So with that out of the way, let's get Luke compared to our usual suspects. Here we have Luke posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Mattel's WWE Elite Series and Mezco's 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. The Lightning Collection White Ranger and the Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally here we have Luke posed next to the Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. So the farm boy is going to be a little short for a stormtrooper but his height is really accurate. So with his comparisons out of the way let's run through his articulation. He has a ball joint in the head and neck, butterfly joint in his shoulders, arms hinge out to the side and do a full 360. Single hinge in his elbow and a swivel at his elbow. Vertical hinge and swivel at his wrist. Ball joint in his lower torso. Legs kick forward, back, out to the side and have a thigh swivel. Single hinge and swivel at his knee. Finally he has a hinged ankle and forward facing pin for rocker ankle. So Luke Skywalker has your standard articulation for Black Series. So with everything said and done, let's get Luke Skywalker posed for my final thoughts. The Star Wars Black Series Luke Skywalker here is an amazing figure and I really like what Hasbro did with it. One nitpick that I do have is that this figure is not 100% accurate to the Mandalorian. 
I have a theory that this Luke Skywalker was supposed to be the bonus figure with the Rancor, however it was repurposed for the Mandalorian line. That theory might hold water as his upper torso clearly is from Return of the Jedi and not Mandalorian. However, unless you're a massive Star Wars nerd like I am, it's a small detail that you really won't pay much attention to. Most Star Wars fans will just be happy to have an updated Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight in their collection. Unlike the previous Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, this one is not a store exclusive so you can pick Luke up from various websites like Amazon, Big Bad Toy Store, or you can find him at box stores like Walmart, Target, or Best Buy. Now unfortunately you will feel the pinch as Luke Skywalker is going to cost about $25. Unless this is a must-have figure in your collection, I really do recommend you wait until the price on this figure goes down, because this figure is not $25. If you can get him on a sale, I really recommend you pick up Luke Skywalker, because he is a very nice figure to look at, and he poses really nicely. So if you're in the market for another Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, this is your opportunity to pick up a very new sculpt. Before we go, I would like to thank the Jewel Gallery of El Paso for once again sponsoring this video. And as always, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and check out all my other Star Wars videos. As always, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos, videos, and other goodies, and ring that bell so you never miss a video. And as always, my loyal Dragonites coming from the Dragon Den, I'm King of Dragons 5000, take care, be safe, and I'll see you next time.